So in this video, we'll explain what the box plot or the box and the whisker plot is and how to make this box and whisker plot. So please stay tuned, don't go anywhere else, just sit back, relax and enjoy this video. Box and whisker plot is or a box plot is a convenient way of visually displaying the distribution of data. The five components in box and whisker plot are the upper extreme or the max value. This is the maximum value from any given data set. Next we have the lower extreme or the min value. This is the minimum value from any given data set. Next you calculate the median. So inside the box there is a line that shows the middle number and it will split the data into two halves. Then you have the upper and lower quartiles. The top and bottom edge of the box are called quartiles. These are the points where 25% and 75% of the data will fall. 25% for Q1 and 75% for Q3. Then you have the outliers. Sometimes you will see a small dot or a star outside the whisker. These are outliers, which are number that are much higher or much lower than the rest. Now comes the question, what are whiskers? So whiskers, basically the lines that extend from bottom and top of the box are called whiskers. They show where the most of the numbers are, not counting any really far out values. Next we have the interquartile range IQR. The difference between the first and the third quartile is known as the internal quartile range. That is IQR is Q3 minus Q1. So box plot gives you a quick way look at the range, middle and spread of your data plus any unusual values. Box plot are useful as they show the skewness of data and will show if the statistical data set is normally distributed or it is skewed. When the median is in the middle of the box and whiskers are about the same on both sides, then the distribution is symmetric. But that is not always the case. If it is left skewed or negatively skewed, the left whisker, the line extending from the box is longer than the right whisker. This means there are some lower values that pull the distribution tail to the left. The median line inside the box is closer to the right side of the box. And if it is right skewed, that is positive skewed, the right skewed, the right, right whisker is longer than the left whisker. This means there are some higher values that pull the distribution tail to the right. The median line inside the box is closer to the bottom or the left side of the box. So in short, if the box plot has longer tail to the left, it is left skewed. If it has longer tail to the right, it is right skewed. Now we'll see how to construct this box plot in statistics. Now let's see how to construct the box and the whisker plot. So let's follow some steps. So step one, collect the data first. Let's assume that the number of goals scored by a football team in 19 games is given below. And this is the number of goals scored by any football team in 19 games. So we know that we have 19 data points here. Now, second step would be to organize this data. That means arrange from lowest to highest or minimum to maximum. Let's arrange this first in the ascending order or the minimum to maximum order. Now, next step will be that we need to identify the five values that we need for box plot. These are upper extreme or max values, lower extreme min values, median, upper quartile Q1 and lower quartile Q3. So we'll calculate all these values. So data has been arranged from minimum to maximum values. Now we need to find those five values for box and whisker plot. Lower extreme, that is the minimum value, which is three. Next is the upper extreme or the maximum value, which is 20. Next, we need to calculate the median. For that, you divide the data set into two halves, having nine values each, because we have 19 data points. The middle one is your median here. But if your number of data points, in your case, it is even, then you take the sum of two middle values and arrange from ascending order and then divide those sum by two to get the median. In our case, it is odd. So it is straight away 10. Next, we need to calculate the upper quartile Q1. For this one, red one, we divide and take it as an 
middle value. So for that we get 6. Same we do it for Q3. We get middle value as 12. So our quartile value is or Q3 is 12. Step 4. Draw a number line and plot a point above each of the 5 digit values. This is the number line we have on the data points. This is the value that we have calculated upper extreme, lower extreme, median, upper quartile, Q1 and Q3. Let's mark this on the number line. 3 represent the lower extreme, 20 represent the upper extreme, 10 represent the median, Q1 as 6 and Q3 as 12. Now create a data points on these num points and elevate them above the number line. Right. Next, create a line passing through upper and lower quartile Q1 and Q3 and make them to form a rectangular box that encloses the median point which is 10 here. Now through this median point construct a vertical line. This is in short the box that we have constructed in box in the whisker plot. Now we'll calculate the whiskers. For that draw a horizontal line connecting the upper and lower quartile to left upper and lower extreme values. Here you will notice that the box is divided into four different quadrants. Right, each representing the 25% of the whole data set. Now we'll find the interquartile range. Finding that interquartile range can help you create whiskers of your box and whisker plot. So, right, so in this case, uh, we'll uh, define all the lower extreme values, upper extreme values Q1 and Q3. So our interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. So Q3 we have calculated as 12. Q Q1 is 6, so our interquartile range is 6. So now we need to use the 1.5 accurate rule, which says that is the thumb rule for identifying the outliers in the data set. We have already calculated IQR, so 1.5 times IQR will be your lower upper extreme, and 1.5 times IQR is you will be your lower extreme. The lower bound will be Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR, which is equal, and upper will be one Q1 plus 1.5 times into IQR. So if you calculate 6 minus 1.5 into 6, you get minus 3. And 6 plus 1.5 into 6, you get 15. These are your upper and lower bottom time. That means any data point that which falls outside lower and upper bounds is considered as an outlier here. That is how you define the out, our lower and outer bound for outliers. So if you are watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do press that bell icon for all the notifications from digital learning. And if you're watching this video on Instagram or Facebook, do follow us on all these platforms. You can also look at our website for interesting articles and videos. Link for all these is given below in the description. Now is the quiz time on this topic. Read the questions and leave your answers in the comment section below. First question. What does a box in the whisker plot primarily show? Options are A. The mean of data set b distribution of data set based on quartiles c correlation between the two variables d mode of data set question number two in a box in the whisker plot what does the box represent a the range of data b the interquartile range iqr c the mean of data d the median of data question number three what does a box in whisker plot not typically show a the distribution of data, B. The data trends over time, C. Spread of data, D. Presence of outliers. You can leave your answers in the comment section below.